What are you doing, Kyle? Uh, we are trying to get new batteries. So basically, anybody that doesn't know, I kill batteries <laughs> consistently. And now I had three, I had two bad batteries before St. John's River, which was the first tournament. So we went to Walmart and just bought three brand new, um, cheaper Walmart Airstart batteries. So after that, I've been using those air start batteries and I've killed those now too. And I know everybody says it's the motor guide. You know, I shouldn't be having that problem. It's the charger. It's not. It's literally, I fish that much. I run them that dead. Batteries just don't hold up that long. Like literally, I fish that much and I fish that many hours. And I run the trolling motor on 100 almost all day. So I kill batteries very, very quickly. So if we have two, we're just going to buy three new ones. Or we might can get these warranty. They do have a one-year warranty on them, and the uh, AGMs I have have a three-year warranty. So we're gonna try to get them warranty. If that doesn't work, we'll just buy some new ones. Okay, so this might look a little like a mess, but it's not. It means stuff is coming together, right? It does. We got three days to get everything put back in place and ready. Check this out. Brand new so trolling been motor. So asking me, when are you going to a trolling motor with pinpoint or GPS or whatever you want to call it? This trail motor right here has pinpoint. That means I'm going to press the anchor button and I'm going to stay right where I am at, right then, whenever I press it. So I'm going to be fishing offshore for a little while for the rest of the year. So we had to go ahead and get us a trail motor that will keep me offshore and keep me in place. So go ahead and got it changed out this morning. Now we're trying to get batteries so we can run this sucker all day long. Show us what else you got. Uh, Over well, there. Okay, yep. Your new package. We got a new package here from Striker. Got some new bibs in. Got some stuff from K9, some a little bit smaller braids, so I can throw a little bit smaller baits a little bit further. So I didn't have any 40 pound braids, so I, you know, messaged him and told him to send me some, got me some in, got me some shirts and hats and stuff, and uh, motor guide box right there. That looks like a mess. Watch the boat. You can see from over here how the wrap just pops way better now than it does with that big orange mud line that I usually keep on it. It had not been washed in a hot it had, minute. It has been a while. There's my old trolling motor. I will keep that in the truck as a spare. We already have like three trailer motors in the truck. Yeah, I always keep a spare. And now I'm gonna take my other spare out and keep this one in there. So this is the one I've been using recently. This trailer motor was, uh, my foot was on it when I set the hook on a 10 pounder. So not bad. And then, uh, I don't know. You Same tired? Thing doing. I'm so tired. I've been out here sweating to death putting that trailer motor on. Man, it's been killing me. So. so what are we doing now? It's coming together. Where are we going? We're going to uh, try to get some batteries fixed worked out so we are on the way to get new batteries we're making a trick one hour and eight minutes to go maybe get new batteries not even a guarantee so uh again on the way you can spin it though we just gotta go so that's a long ride it's a long ride hopefully it'll pay off hopefully we got somebody there that knows what they're talking about and we'll stop trying to just blame it on something else because that's what they normally do but i mean when it comes down to it the math on it so a blue top optimum battery has like 75 or 85 amp hours or whatever you want to call it. So if I have three of those we're running on my trolling motor, I'm, they are only supposed to last like six or seven hours. And obviously I'm out there practicing sometimes for 14 or 15 hours. And especially if I'm fishing brim beds or something, I'm on a hundred for like 12 or 13 hours. And I mean, the math just don't get add up. So I run out of batteries every single day. And people don't believe it, but it just is true. The math is just there. It just, it, they don't last all day. So uh, we're going to try to get better batteries now. Thought I got the best ones at first. I did not. Okay, so you ready for this question? I'm ready. Are you nervous about you? I'm not. You know, I'm doing, uh, the only thing I'm nervous about is making a bad decision. And I'm not nervous about like a fish coming off or me not catching them. I'm just nervous about making a bad decision. And so far I have did as much as I could possibly do to put everything in my favor. I've got a new trolling motor. You know, I've got my graph set up. I bought a heading sensor. I spent 55 hours graphing down there before it went off limits. So, I mean, I did everything I could pretty much do. And we just had to try to catch them now. Uh, on this one, yeah. Brand new? Yep. I guess I'm gonna put this right here. So 
the best place, best place for it, huh? What are you putting on now? This is the hitting sensor. And what is that thing supposed to do? Oh, it uh helps keep my tr my depth finder more accurate as far as where my boat emblem is and all the, and all that. So definitely necessary. So we ended up getting that new battery and that new battery. Out of all seven of these, all the rest of them tested as good. So got the boat cleaned up. Everything ready now. That's what we did today. All right, so washing the boat got super hot. My hair is wet because I just jumped in that swim pool right there for a minute. I've been sweating to death out here, getting this bad boy installed, getting batteries changed out, cleaning the boat up, trying to, I haven't washed the boat in so long and I really hate whenever the carpet doesn't look super, super clean. So I've been scrubbing the carpet, scrubbing the wrap, getting under there, waxing the bottom of the boat. Anything we can do to go just a little bit faster, be a little bit more efficient. That's what we're doing right now. Trying to get everything organized and ready to go. About to take everything out of this boat and uh, take it either in the house or on the porch or somewhere. Go through everything, make sure I've got all the hooks I need, all the weights I need, all the line I need, everything. I make sure I have it for sure because I've only got about two more days where I have to start practice. So I'm gonna go through everything, make sure I got it and that's it. So. I think we're gonna make a little bit of a just a daily update video for this one if you like that video leave a like leave a comment hit that subscribe button because this sucker's gonna be floating again very very soon and you don't want to miss it so i will see y'all later